Hello my dear viewers welcome to my channel the vinay voice so today we are going to discuss about the part 2 session of the tongue the part 1 session has been uploaded the link will be given in the description so please follow it so here we are going to discuss about the arterial supply of the tongue so see in this picture this one is the external carotid artery you see here external carotid artery from the external carotid artery there is one artery is coming that is the lingual artery see here this is the lingual artery so this lingual artery gives rise to three branches those are dorsal lingual arteries these are the dorsal lingual arteries and this is the deep lingual artery so from the lingual artery we are getting two dorsal lingual arteries and one deep lingual artery okay next this is the facial artery from the facial artery we are getting tonsillar branch of facial artery so this is a tonsillar branch of facial artery and here one more artery that is ascending pharyngeal artery ascending pharyngeal artery so this ascending pharyngeal artery tonsillar branch of facial artery dorsal lingual arteries and deep lingual artery these arteries are the major arterial supply for the tongue so how to remember c a p a means ascending pharyngeal a p ascending pharyngeal next t o t o means tonsillar branch of facial artery d l d l d l means dorsal lingual one more d l means deep lingual so in this way you can remember the all the arteries supplying the tongue okay next see in this picture this is the inferior surface of the tongue so in the inferior surface of the tongue you can able to see two main structures those are deep lingual veins right so this is the one deep lingual deep lingual vein and this is the another deep lingual vein so these structure are important so deep lingual vein is the principal vein of the tongue and is visible on the inferior surface of the tongue right okay next lymphatic drainage see in this picture this is the tongue okay and this tongue there are some apical vessels that means they are draining the lymph from the apical portion of the tongue so these apical vessels are drained into submental nodes okay submental nodes from the submental nodes they are drained into jugulo homo aoid node jugulo homo aoid node okay next there are some marginal vessels that means they are covering the margins of the tongue so from the margin vessels these are drained into submandibular nodes these are the submandibular nodes so from the submandibular nodes they are draining either into deep cervical or jugular homoid okay next basal that means these are draining the base area of the tongue so these basal vessels are directly drained into jugular diaphragmatic or deep cervical lymph nodes so entirely this is the lymphatic drainage of the tongue so if the tongue asked as laq you must need to draw this diagram okay next see here central vessels that means these will drain the lymph from the central portion of the tongue so they are drained into deep cervical lymph nodes the central vessels drained into deep cervical lymph nodes next now supply this is very very important so everyone must remember how motor supply first we will see the motor supply so in the motor supply all the muscles of the tongue except palatoglossus are supplied by the hypoglossal nerve all the muscles of the tongue except palatoglossus are supplied by the hypoglossal nerve but this hyp this palatoglossus nerve is supplied by the cranial root of accessory via vagus nerve okay so how to remember this motor supply see here h h means hypoglossal nerve h means hypoglossal nerve m means motor supply and p means palatoglossus but this palatoglossus are supplied by v that means accessory nerve via vagus nerve you can remember like that hmpv okay hmpv so h stands for hypoglossus m means motor supply and p means palatoglossus v means cranial root of accessory via vagus nerve 
this need this is the important point next sensory nerve supply see here there are lingual nerve and cauda tympani nerve this lingual nerve and cauda tympani nerve will supply the anterior two third of the tongue okay how to remember you can remember by call c a l l here c means cauda tympani a means anterior two third l means lingual nerve so you can remember the word call to remember the nerve supply of this anterior part of the uh, that is anterior two third of the tongue and next posterior one third posterior one third is supplied by glossopharyngeal nerve okay glossopharyngeal nerve and the internal laryngeal nerve how to remember g o means glosso p i means pharyngeal go p glossopharyngeal in means internal l a means laryngeal okay internal laryngeal so gopi in la okay gopi in la gopi in la means glossopharyngeal first stands for gopi in la internal laryngeal so in this way you can remember the now supply of the posterior part of the tongue that is the posterior one third of the tongue okay so the now supply itself is a three marker question so try to remember it with this mnemonic so that's all for today my dear friends hope you like it i would like to request you to please subscribe my channel hit the bell icon drop a like and share this video to your friends don't forget to comment thank you everyone have a great day